Hey you right, guys, my name's Sammy from Pioneer DJ and I'm back at DJ Kit to take a look at the new DDJ 400. Before we go in and look at the unit, there's a few things I want to mention. Firstly, when you buy the DDJ 400, it comes with the Rekordbox license key. This is great because you pop that straight into Rekordbox and then you are away with the unit. All you need to do is plug it in via USB and you're ready to play. You don't need to download any drivers because it has a built-in sound card. Another feature we've got which is really good if you are a new DJ and just starting off, when you connect your controller with the laptop, we get a little pop-up that will appear. So what this pop-up does is basically it's a tutorial section that takes you through how to set up your controller, what all the functionalities do, and also shows you a mixed video of someone mixing from one tune to another. As you can see here, we have setup, and there are many different options that you can go through that really go in depth of how you would set up your controller. We then have a mix section which shows you how you would mix one tune to another but also the different features that you'd be looking at when mixing. And last but not least, not least we have a performance video that is there for you to watch if you would like. Let's go in and have a look at the unit itself. So if you've seen a controller like the DDJ RB, this is something that is very similar but Pioneer have added some great features that make it really appealing if you are a new time DJ or even if you are DJing and you are looking for a smaller unit to carry around with you, this here is perfect. What we're going to do, we're going to start off by looking at the back of the controller, then we're going to go over to your mixer section and then your deck section. So firstly we have your USB and this is to power up the unit itself and also to connect with Rekordbox DJ. We then have an output for RCA for your speakers if you have some speakers at home, but don't worry if you haven't because this still works with Rekordbox and obviously the sound that comes out of the laptop. Just to the side of that, we have a mic input with volume adjust. So now we're gonna look at the mixer section and this is where this controller gets really interesting. What we've tried to do is incorporate our CDJ range and DJM range features within this product and as I go through it I'm going to show you where the similarities are. First of all we're going to start with your classic stuff which is your free band EQ with trim. At the top here we have your rotary selector where you can select to go on deck A and deck B. This is the same as something like the RB. Now where it gets interesting is on the left hand side and the right hand side. Firstly we have your headphone mix to Q and mix to master. This is great because it really gets you kind of started to like use your headphones and can really help with your kind of beat matching um, and how you would like to DJ because some people use it full on cue, some people will have a quarter pass, depends what you like as a DJ but this wasn't on the RB so to have this mix in there is great. We have your level control but the reason why this bit is good because this is where you would find it on your DJM products. Next we're going over to your beat effects. This is really good because you actually have a hardware button here to trigger your effects. We have your parameters to change your beats and then also we have your selector here which will go up and down depending shift will go up and if you're not pressing shift it will go down you let it go and then it will select whatever the effect you've chosen we then also have your master to one or two or just a general master so what this can do is basically switch over of where you'd like the beats effects to come out of at the minute it's coming out of the deck one moving over from that we have your faders here and then your cross fader on the bottom which is classic Moving over, we'll look at the deck section now. Up here, we have added hardware buttons for your loop in and loop out. This is great because again, this is where you're gonna find these buttons on something like your CDJ 2000 Nexus 2. We've also added an exit to exit your loop and then cue call here. Another reason why cue call is great is because it gets you used to setting cue points um, and then actually again, having the hardware button to go through your cue points. Just to compare, we didn't have this on the RB, so this is a great little upgrade if you are looking to set a few cue points within your tracks. Just below that on your secondary options, you have your delete, you can create memory points, and also you can activate straight four bar loop by just pressing this here. To the side of that, we have your master tempo range, where if you hold shift, you can go through your tempo ranges, but then also we have your beat sync here. Another feature on the deck side, which is really interesting, um, which is something that I actually really liked, and if I had this when I first started off DJing, it would have been perfect. So as you can see here, we have indents on your jog wheel. These are the same indents that you would find on our CDJ range, and even our CDJ 2000 Nexus 2, which is our club standard setup, these are the same indents you're gonna find. So you are really, from an early start, getting used to the feel of the side of our jog wheels and this is key for when you are mixing. Just below the jog wheel we have your classic Q play and pause and then we have eight pads with eight different pad modes and in a moment I'll go into them a little bit more but before we go into that 
we have your tempo here. On the RB, the tempo adjust was located at the top of the unit. We have now moved it down to a place where you are more likely to find it on our CDJ range. And another note to add is that we have made the tempo adjust range just a little bit bigger. So you can kind of go for a wider tempo range by using this here. Let's go in a little bit closer and look at your different pad modes. Different pad modes on here are great because we've added a couple of pad modes that you would find on our DDJ 1000 um, and that is keyboard and key shift. But firstly, let's go through the first options of pads and then we'll go into your secondary options. So we have hot cue. Hot cues, you can set them in record box um, in export mode. Um, and then when you go onto performance mode, this is where you can kind of really utilize this and you can kind of really chop them up to do little edits on your track, however you'd like to do it. Next, we're gonna go over to your beat loop. And what this will do, will set an automated loop um, depending on which pad, which pad you press. So this is we have four beat loop, eight beat loop, 16, and then you can kind of go up in your parameters. So this is two, one, and so forth. Next, we're gonna go on to beat jump. And what this will do, this will jump forward or back in beats depending on what you want to do. This is great, I use this where if I have a section within my tune that I don't really want to play, I will go straight to like, uh, uh, say like a, an, an eight beat jump and, and jump through that section. And this is really good, like you can, you can do this in many ways, um, but that's kind of how I use it. And you can go so far as it's literally just going one beat back. So it's like another cool little edit you can do on your tune. Then with your sampler, and you can you can select your samples from record box, or you can cut out samples from a track itself and put it into your pads. So now we're going to look at our secondary options on our pad modes. We do this by holding shift and then pressing whichever mode you want to go onto. So I've held shift and I'm going to go onto keyboard mode. And what this will do when you are on keyboard mode, this will flash to say you're on the secondary option. The reason why these are flashing now is because this is asking me to select a hot cue. And when I select the hot cue, this is going to go up and down in key and always trigger it from the same hot cue. So I'm going to go from the drop. Now I've selected it. And that there is keyboard mode. And what that is doing is basically going up and down in key from your selected hot cue. So that is a DDJ 400 a great controller and for me if something like this was out when I first started to DJ I would have been loving life because we have got all the features in here to get you ready for future products that you may buy but also the tutorial guide that is really going to help you learn the product and learn how to DJ. If you want to have a little look get yourself down to DJ kit and come and have a play for yourself.